side is the call. Still plenty of time left in this frame. The game is still scoreless. And they grab possession of the puck after that center ice faceoff. Grabbed along the boards by Niskanen. And now it's to Voracek. Giroux's got it along the boards. Makes a move in front. Oh, he got all of that. What a save by Dubnik. This is a fantastic save, James. He's all over it. What I mean by that is he knows exactly where it is and where it's moving. A reason why he can get square to it and make the save. The Flyers gain control of the puck. Lowers the boom. He knew exactly what he was doing with that hit this early in the game. He's trying to send a message and dictate the pace. Good read with the stick to break that up. Niskanen's got the puck in his own zone. Moves it quickly over to Faraby. Now a quick pass to Niskanen. From the left side, they enter the offensive zone. Straight up the middle, here they come. Sends it over to Suter. Philadelphia's got the puck along. James, and he is out of gas. It didn't prevent him from making that save, but now he's going to get some much-needed rest as that puck heads out of his zone. Tosses it to Atkinson. Quick pass to Van Reemstein. And that's broken up. And it's kicked away. Atkinson's got it deep in the offensive end. Dismiss that chance. This is an incredible push post to post, James, but I think that he has read the tendency of his opponents extremely well. He knew where this puck was going, and he was ready for it. Inching closer to the midway mark of this period. Philadelphia's ahead, 1-0. Granlin's won the draw here in their own zone. Moves it to Heatley. Moves the puck. Stoppage and play offside the call. The Flyers have done a great job moving their feet tonight, and they lead here midway through the first. Minnesota's won it. Loose puck battle along the boards. The Flyers have it now. Quick feed to Niskanen. Comes up with a stop. From the left side, he moves it up ahead. Lifts the stick and takes the puck. Philadelphia's got it in their own zone. Minnesota's got a hold of the puck now. Oh, and that one comes up short as he just gets enough of that one. Tries to get it to the left. Across the line from center. Fires it on net. Oh, what a stop on the play. Slick feed. Slides the puck into the offensive zone. And he takes the dish. Across the line along the left wall. Minnesota's got the puck now. Down a great scoring chance there. In front and a stoppage on the play as 
the goaltender covers things up. Past the midway mark of the frame, 1-0 the score. Koibu's won the faceoff, and now let's see what they can do. He was totally locked in on that play. Here's a short pass to Koibu. Minnesota's got possession of the puck. Rips it! Turned aside with a glove by Hart. Well, this game is all about the compete to find the puck. I mean, it's a battle, and you're trying to outbattle your opponent. You can see him bombing up and down, trying to find the puck. He finds it at the last minute, reacts, and makes the save. Both teams are set. We'll drop the puck here. And that's poked away in the offensive zone by Vanek. Picked up along the wall by Ristolainen. Moves it quickly over to Giroux. The Flyers carried along the wall. Huge steal at his own end. Through the neutral zone and into the offensive end. Tries to dangle, the puck skips away. Vanek's known for his creativity, and he tries one too many moves there, and he loses the puck. Takes the pass. Into the attacking end. And it's a quick pass to Stahl. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Passes over to Pominville. Gains the zone along the right wall. Shot! Gets a piece of it to keep it out. And they'll get a breather as the goaltender covers it up. Late goings of this period. We've got a 1-0 hockey game thus far. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. The Flyers cross the blue line and are on the attack. Philadelphia's got the puck against the boards. Turned aside with the glove by Dubnik. Dubnik's well-respected and a great competitor between the pipes. Hart's the star goaltender who backstops his team confidently. Be on the lookout for one of these players to make an impact for their team tonight. Now, let's send it back upstairs. Down the right wing and into the offensive zone. Grabs the puck and looks to make something happen. Denied that one. There's the whistle as the puck is frozen up. The centermen glide into position. Granlin's won the faceoff here in the offensive zone. Scores! His first of the playoffs, and the rookie gets it done! Well, every athlete wants to establish themselves as a playoff performer. Well, the rookie, an impressive start to leaving a lasting impression. Oh, he's such a leader, James. I mean, it's an infectious energy when he scores and the entire team is looking to him. The bench absolutely explodes. Now, all of a sudden, the momentum is there in their favor, all started by their fearless leader. And they win that draw at center. Philadelphia's on the attack. Moves it in front, and that's stopped. Slides the puck over. Quick pass to Farabee. Great heads up play to poke it away at the offensive end. The Flyers gain control of the puck against the wall. Oh, big time hit along the wall, and this is why I'm glad he scores! What a goal! Two quick goals in a minute 30, James. Quick response back to back here, and the team is humming. Yeah, and talk about putting your opponent on their heels. This is exactly why you send bodies to the front of the net, James. You want to create a screen, and the goaltender drops into the butterfly position as a default and is battling to find the puck. Can't find it and beats him clean. The Wild have put themselves in front by a goal here in the first. Well, yeah, and there's too much game left here to just sit back and, and play with that lead, James. It's not cozy or comfy enough. they got to find a way to push for more. And they win that neutral zone draw. Gets the puck over to Heatley. Minnesota's got possession here in the neutral zone. Philadelphia's got control of it now from their own end. Feeds the puck across to Sanheim. And with that, the first period comes to an end. Both teams will have a chance to get a breather, and they'll be back on the ice with period number two in not too long. Hey fans, don't forget to pick up your team calendar.
And the opening face-off here in period number two is about set. The second stanza is underway as the puck is dropped. Let's go. Well, we've seen a pretty good sample size. Scores! Deuces wild as that's his second of the game. Well, he's got two tallies on the score sheet, James, but I love his game off the puck as well. I think that he's had a hard nose on the poor check. He's hounded it, he's hunted it, and guess what? He's been rewarded for his efforts. The key to this rush is jumping to open ice quickly and countering in transition fast. That's exactly what happens in speed kills, opening up lanes. But once you've opened them up, you have to thread the needle. You have to have execution with your pass. The receiver has to find a way to put it away. That's exactly what happens, and the shot is money. Minnesota's come up with possession after that neutral zone draw. And the puck skips away after that move. He is so dangerous when the puck is on his stick in the offensive zone, but he tries one too many moves and he loses the puck. He leaves playing with such confidence right now, and he's got this point streak going, and when that's happening for you, you're having a ton of fun putting up the points. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. Minnesota's been the better team here over the last few minutes, increasing their lead to two. And they win the draw here in their own end. Inside the offensive end, now down the left. With possession along the wall. Good reach to the stick to knock the puck away. Didn't mean to step on you like that, James, but look at that hit, and it just took me off guard. Niskanen's moving the puck through his own zone. Tries to the crease. The lane was plugged up, and that shot's blocked. Can hang on to the puck after taking it off. Moves it to Burns. Get it out of there. Carrying the puck deep inside his own end. Can't keep a hold of it after that hit. Scooped up along the wall by Burns. The Flyers ready to go on the attack. The Wild have taken possession along the wall. Exploring options here inside the defensive zone. The Flyers get a hold of the puck in the open ice. Here's a beat in front. And that shot's blocked. Quick shot. That's blocked by Dubnik. Goaltender covers it up, and we'll get a reset here. Teams are ready to go, and we're about moments away from puck drop. And from off the wing, he comes up with it with both centers scrummed up. Oh, what a hit on the wall. Hey, that's a clean one, James. A great angle. Show shoulder and just laid it on thick. Minnesota's got the puck along the wall. Off his stick, denies him! Philadelphia's got a hold of it against the wall. And now it's over to Van Riemsdyk. Shot! And puts it anywhere but the way he wanted it to go. You're in the slot, you've got to hit the net. Philadelphia's got it along the wall. The Flyers have the puck now. And he sacrifices his body to block the shot. And he came up with a solid stop on that play. Dubnik's been a consistent presence in the crease, James. I mean, he's made the stops he's needed to, but his team's playing extremely well, and that's why they have a comfortable lead. And that's knocked away. Slides the puck across to Stahl. Parisi's gonna play it against the half wall. Hunt's got the puck and he's gonna hang on. We haven't even hit the midway mark of the period. It's a 3-1 hockey game. Lots of offense already. Pitlick's won the draw here in the defensive zone. Handles the pass. And now it's grabbed by Spurgeon. Philadelphia's got the puck. Quick pass across to Raffle. And he slides it quickly to Sanheim. Hitler's got it against the boards. Takes a shot. Scores! It's a Flyers goal! is on and off his 
stick in a hurry, and it needs to be from that low zone slot area. James just beats the goaltender because it gets off his stick so fast. Philadelphia has looked way more engaged since the start of this period, Cheryl, and now they're starting to get some of the rewards. Well, you can certainly feel the energy. There's two trains of thought here. There's the physical side and there's the emotional side of the game. Both are connected for them right now. The Flyers take it across the blue line. Puts it on that. Oh, what a save by Dubnik. Net is knocked off. We'll get a face off here. Philadelphia is trailing in this one, but it isn't for a lack of effort. They've had all sorts of scoring chances tonight. Puck has dropped, and we are back underway. The Flyers have it on the offensive end. Pucked away from danger. midway mark of this period. The Flyers still trail by a goal here, but they are back into this one, only down by one. Minnesota's taking possession in their own end. Steps into all of that. Big hit, and that frees up possession. Oh, that's poked away in the offensive zone by Giroux. Position and both teams are getting ready as they get set for another face-off here. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. From the right wing, he moves into the middle. The Flyers will play it in their own end. Poked away and forces the turnover at center. Takes the bump and loses control of the puck. Minnesota's got it in their own zone. Gaining momentum along the wing. The Flyers gain possession. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. And he takes the feed. Saucers it tape to tape. Philadelphia's got the puck. Through the neutral zone now, picking up steam. Stones up with the blocker. Boards rattled after that hit. Wow. And he's rattling as well, James. I mean, we knew that hit was coming, and then all of a sudden, bell, and he's down for the count. Taken by Spurgeon. Minnesota's going on the attack as they gain the zone. Taken along the wall by Heatley. And that's a great hits up play by oh. Therapy. The Wilds have it in their own zone. Slides the pass over to Parisi. Quick shot, and he stops that with the blocker. Minnesota's got the puck against the half wall. Oh, and he somehow got a little piece of it, and it stays out of the net. They're like a swarm of bees out here with this pressure. On the attack along the boards. Minnesota's got a hold of it along the wall. Picked up along the boards by Pominville. Minnesota's playing it through the neutral zone. Stahl's got the puck. And he takes the feed. Minnesota's got it behind the net. Nears the blue line and looks to set up at the point. Takes that pass back at the point. Long reach breaks up the momentum. Minnesota's gained possession along the boards. Drills them. And he takes the pass. Great use of the stick at center by Scandella. Feeds the puck to Van Riemsdyk. Two periods down, one more to go. Both teams have time to get a refresh, and we'll be back for period number three. I'm fired up. I know you're fired up for this, too. And they 
are ready to drop the puck on period number three. And this one's underway here in the third. Along the half wall with the puck. Way too much congestion blocks that. The Flyers take it along the wing. Grabbed along the board by Hayes. And forces a huge turnover here with the steal. They've got the defense outnumbered. Hooked away by Gustus there. Philadelphia's got the puck in the defensive end. Scrum along the wall. Delayed penalty, looming. And now he moves it quickly to Granlin. Delayed penalty, goaltenders at the bench. They've got the extra attacker out there. There's the whistle, and here's the call. Well, that's certainly not going to help the team. I mean, they're losing by one. they got to find a way to get some momentum to get on the board. Now they find themselves killing a penalty. Well, as both teams dig in for the face-off here just moments away, it's our first opportunity to look at the power play unit here. First power play opportunity of the game. You know they've worked on this in practice, the setup, the look that they want. Let's see how they move the puck around the perimeter and look to attack. And the puck's booted away. Quick feed to Koibu. And that's intercepted by Couturier. Poked away at center by Pominville. I don't think anybody was hanging onto the puck after that hit. And he slides it quickly to Scandella. Moves inside! And that shot dies in traffic. Clearing attempt. And they get the puck out of the zone, and that's a break for the squad. Oh, yeah, this PK unit, they're out there for a reason, James. You have to be able to clear the puck, and it's easier said than done, but they make no mistake this time. Oh, just a great heads-up play by Prosser. From the right side, he goes to the middle of the neutral zone. Philadelphia's on the attack. Went for the dirty dangle, and it goes sideways. Oh, I know what he was trying to do there, James. He thought he had it with that move, but he created some space for himself, but unfortunately loses the handle and it dies on his stick. Gosses bears back at you, zone ability is that reverse hit he throws on incoming checkers, guys. He can lessen the impact of a body check and make them think twice about taking a run at him. Gains the zone on the left wing. Hit on the play, and there's the whistle. As it looks like the glass came loose, and I think it's broken here, Cheryl. Yeah, it looks like it's cracked, James. It always amazes me that the maintenance crew can come out here and make the change this quickly. And really, it's because the glass doesn't shatter, and they'll just replace the pane. Nearing the midway mark of the period, Minnesota's got a 3-2 lead at this point. The Flyers win the faceoff. But man, I don't know what he was doing out there. He's in the slot area, and I don't know whether he had his head down or he was rushing the shot, but he misses by a large margin. Here we go, pucks in deep. Tenacious battle for the puck along the wall. Referee signals penalty coming up here with a delayed call. And he sprints to the bench to get the extra attacker out on the ice. Whistle blown, stopping the play. When you're down a goal, you can't generate any offense if you're short-handed. They're going to have to be opportunistic, find a way to kill it off, and then reset the momentum. Minnesota's power play unit puts their hard hats on as they go back to work. No, they haven't scored on the power play yet. 100% is not a number that you see typically. So they got to find a way to just stay confident, trust the process and their skill sets. And makes the save. And we get a whistle as the goaltender decides to hang on to this one. Pitlick's side still shorthanded here as they slide in for the faceoff. Off the faceoff, they take the puck. Right through, center it into the offensive zone. Well saved made by Dubnik. Still some precious time left on this power play as they get set to drop the puck.
Couturier's won the draw, they're on the attack. And now he moves it to Raffle. The Wild have the puck in the neutral zone. Grabs control of it at the point. Niederreiter's got it along the wing. And he breaks up the opportunity in front with a poke check. Couturier's got it on the offensive end. The Flyers get their man back. We're back to even strength. A great kill and the ability to keep this game within reach. You know, scores! And we are back to even! Yeah, it's our game now, James. I really like the energy that they showed throughout the game, but now it's about channeling the energy they just created and doing something with it. Well, James, this is a great play all the way around. A perfect pass to a perfectly executed shot as he sets up and waits for right in his wheelhouse. Just lets the one-timer rip. Philadelphia's hard work and tenacity has paid off with the equalizer. Yeah, James, they fought their way back into this one, and it's been the result of hard work, good positioning, and the ability to counterattack, and that's a fight of punch to get them back at evens. The remainder of this period, though, both teams going toe-to-toe. -to -toe. This is going to be a great one. Here's a short pass to Hayes, and uses the length of his stick to knock that puck away. Moves it around along the half wall. Moves it quickly over to Granlin. Good hit to knock the puck loose. A little crash and banging forces the turnover. Quick pass to Suter. Great poke check on the reach. Well, this game looks like it's going right down to the wire, James. And one of the most important things to do now is make sure you make good blue line decisions. The Flyers have it now. Moves it to Gostaspair. The Wild have it now. Good fight for the puck along the boards. What a steal in his own end. And that's just out of reach. Puck said down the ice, we'll get an icing. Here in the back half of this period, the next goal could be a big one as we are tied. Philadelphia's won the draw and they'll go to work. Center wins that one clean. Everyone's ready for the puck. They know they're attacking now with the tired group that they're playing against. Moves the puck along the half wall. There's an injection of energy with that hit. Denies it in front. He reads this play perfectly, James. He gets tight to the shooter. There's no room to put it by him. Carlin May is standing by with who had the better night. Dubnik's been the busier of the two goalies in this matchup, but he's answered the call, guys. I'm giving him the edge here tonight. Stalls won the draw here in the offensive zone. There's another stop! What a sequence. I mean, he has been outstanding making consecutive saves. I mean, his defense, they gotta start playing. Officials getting ready to drop the puck to get play back underway. Minnesota's gonna start with the puck inside the offensive zone. Stops him with the glove! And the goalie covers up for the whistle. A critical draw here. The Flyers start with the puck in the road end. And pokes the puck loose inside the offensive end. Philadelphia's got a hold of the puck now. The Flyers have it now. And it's a quick pass to Obey Cabell. Philadelphia's got the puck against the boards. Hammers one, and he was ready for that save. Covers it up, and we'll get a stoppage in play. Getting into the later stages of this period, we are all tied up in this one. Stalls won the faceoff. Now a quick pass to Palmonville. And another hit, the human buzzsaw is in full effect on the ice tonight here, Cheryl. <laughs> is, and if you're the opponent, man, you're gonna head's gonna be on a swivel. You're gonna be knowing all along. Oh, clutch save here in this third period. Uh, it's a close game, and you know it's the third period, and the next goal is pivotal, and you want that one back, certainly if you're the shooter. A big draw looming here in the offensive zone. And off the 
draw then take possession. Picked up along the wall by Granlin. They've got numbers here. To his teammate! The Wild have gained possession off the wall. And that's a smart heads up play by Ristolainen. The Flyers take it along the wall. Minnesota's looking to break out of their own end. Pass to Heatley. Handles the puck. Takes the puck. Puck is frozen and we get a stoppage in play. A lot on the line here in this offensive zone faceoff. Couturier's won it in their own end. Ristolainen's lugging the puck. Great defensive effort with the stick. Quick feed to Scandella. Still a tight one here as we approach the final minute of the third. Oh, what a stick save! Here in the late goings of the period, it's all tied up. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Down the left wing and into the offensive zone. Puck not loose after that hit. Dishes it to Colby. And that pass is intercepted. Stayed by the goaltender who stayed with it on the redirect. That's what we call a ready goalie, James. Ready for anything. The pass across and to be able to steal one. Here's a short pass to Konechny. And that was read perfectly. What a play by Clutterbuck. Receives the pass. And that brings an end to the third period. We are still tied, and that means overtime is looming in moments.
Well, the fans will get loud once again to salute their warriors here, Cheryl. Oh, well, yeah, this is a lot of fun. I mean, this is the connection that you see between the fan base and their team, and it's a tradition, right? You come out on the ice, and you want to salute them and say thank you for providing energy throughout the game. Thanks so much for joining us here. It was a fun one to call, and we will see you soon. For all of us here at EA Sports, stay safe.